Hey guys, Joe here, back with another one to break down for you. And what you heard me playing there was the classic song from Fleetwood Mac, Big Love. And this is based upon the live version of the song, which is slightly different. And of course, it's played by the wonderful guitarist, Lindsay Buckingham. Okay, so before we get started, if you could just click on the like or the subscribe, it really would help me out. Okay, so let's get cracking. Like I say, this is based on the live version, and if you'd like to play it in that key, then you need to put a capo on the third fret. Don't go too close to the fret wire, because it might kind of get in the way a little bit. Now, if you're serious about learning this song, there are a few things that you need to know. First of all, break it down into manageable sections, and I'm going to do that in this lesson. Okay, so the first little section that we're looking to learn sounds like this. <laughs> That's all we're looking to do. So very slowly. Next section we're looking to play sounds like this. Okay, so that played slowly sounds like this. Next section sounds like this. So again, played slowly. And then the final little bit sounds like this. And if you put that all together, you should have. The song relies heavily on good timing and good right hand technique, especially the thumb which plays the bass part throughout the song. And the most effective way of bringing this about is using a metronome when we practice. Starting off with a tempo that we can manage comfortably with nice solid timing. Something like this. you can do that comfortably and you're really happy with it raise the tempo a little bit like this now if you base it on the version he plays on the CD it should sound like this at around about 130 BPM So that'll be a great place to arrive at. But remember, just enjoy the journey and take your time. That's far, far more important. It's not a process that you can really rush. Now, on the live version, he plays it at a breakneck speed. It's really, really quick. So, like I say, aim for around about 130. That's plenty to be getting on with. Maybe not everybody's going to take that advice on board. But ultimately, I just want to give you the best possible chance I can to be able to play this song to the best of your ability. And just remember, it's not a race, you know, that you will get there in time. It's just a lot of steady practice and raising the tempo slowly, like we've just taken a look at. I think this is one of those songs that you do better to think of as a longer term project. And just work on it regularly, do a little bit at a time, and you will get there. Okay, so that's the first little section. So work on that until you're comfortable. And I should just point out at this stage, for anybody who's interested, you can actually go watch the whole series of videos, which is six videos in total, which I teach at a kind of more laid back pace over on my Patreon page. You can go there just by clicking up there. And what I've done in this lesson is I've shot it a little bit more fast pace because I know on YouTube that's what people tend to like. So it's going to take me some time to reshoot all of the parts for YouTube 
and I'll only do that if I feel you guys are interested in following on with this tutorial so please let me know in the comments and then that way I will carry on with this one. Thanks for watching guys, really do appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you soon. In the meantime, you all take care.